everybody. So, I decided for this I would actually do a video of me unboxing because I was really excited to get this for my camping trip up in October. It is a flat pack grill and fire pit by uh, Nico Yuko UCO. Um, so I mainly got this, not as the grill, but I was looking for a way to have a fire pit <laughs> so I can stay warm. Um, I'm going to be boondock camping and it's going to be October and it's going to be the desert because I'm going to Arizona. Uh, it can get cold at night. I've been researching how to stay warm without electricity because I am not at a point financially where I could do my solar panels yet. And I was reading how people heat up rocks and certain types of rocks and I'm like, all right, let's try that out. But not everywhere will have a place where there'll be a fire pit. And I mean, I know I might, I'm hoping because it's October, I won't come into fire restrictions, but sometimes out there you get fire restrictions, hopefully not. If so, I will have to run my car for heat if I need it. But back to this, this should be a great way that I can try to stay warm at night. Like I'm going to try this rock thing out. I have read that people have heated rocks and stayed like heat at their tent for the night. I was like, I don't need it to be super warm. I just need to take like the chill out of the air. I mean, when I wake up, I could just turn my car on. I have a Prius. It runs on electricity. It's not going to eat a ton of gas, whatever. So let's get to like opening this bad boy up. What else I like about it is it's supposed to fold flat, um, which could be something you could put in your backpack when you're backpacking. I don't, I don't know if I would, it's a little heavy. I think this is a little heavy to put in a backpack. I want it to get a mini. They do have a smaller size, but they were sold out. So they have a mini. That might be lighter for backpacking. Or if you're a big, burly motherfucker that wants to carry a ton of shit, fine. I, I'm i not carrying this. This seems a little too heavy for backpacking. Like, you could, you could fit this in your backpack, but this seems a little heavy. The, the mini might be lighter. I got the size up for the mini, which I'm guessing is just a small. It doesn't actually say on the packaging. But I got one size up from the mini. I really wanted the mini, but sadly, the mini was sold out. And I, I think it was only like a $4 difference. I really just wanted the mini because I don't... It's just me. I don't need a ton. But let's, let's see. So the instructions are pretty basic. And then this pouch is actually really freaking nice. I'm glad because... I spent like 35 bucks on this, which might not seem like much to you guys, but like it's a piece of fucking metal that folds flat. I was like, the pouch is really like, it's a nice canvas bag. Like, this is nice. Okay, so the bag it comes with is super nice. Um, the instructions are really pretty basic. So I just take this guy. Alright. Oh, uh -huh. No. Let me see. So we take this out. It help if I read the fucking instructions, right? Take that. So the legs should just it clean. How the fucking? Okay, it tells me. <laughs> Let's move that back so you can see what I'm filling with. You would think this would be so fucking easy. Oh, there's something that kind of locks it? Okay. So, let, let's start from the beginning. It's got me doing this, right? And then it's got me doing this, right? And then it's got me doing... It's got me to turn this over, right? That makes no fucking sense. This is supposed to be fucking easy. Alright, I Fuck those instructions. I, I don't read instructions, people, and this is why. I don't, I don't, fuck their instructions. I'm going to figure this out on my own. I'm going to assume that this locks it in place. Um, like, I, I can't fucking do instructions, people. Like, I don't know what fucking moron writes instructions, but I can never comprehend them. One thing I'm going to say, this thing is, like, fucking greasy, which is disgusting. 
Um, this is kind of a pain in the fucking ass. I love when they have fucking videos that show shit being so fucking easy. This is a fucking pain in the ass. Okay, so I'm guessing this... This... Let me just figure this... Why in the fucking shit? Alright. So I got that. How the fuck are these legs supposed to stay? Please, somebody tell me. So here's the unpackaging. This is why I fucking... I, I, I'm a texture person, too. This is skeeving me. There is some kind of, like... I was so fucking excited for this. The canvas bag's nice. <sighs> Y'all, the fucking canvas bag's nice. Why the fuck there's greasy shit all over it? Like, I don't know if you can see that. It's fucking gross. I'm... Let's take a deep breath and relook at it. How the fuck are they getting these legs staying? Listen, these fucking instructions make no sense to me. I did all that. It don't fucking stay. Ain't nothing else either. There's a fucking Facebook. I might have to go on Facebook or their fucking site to see how to set this up. Because what I see is them showing it like this. Okay, let me see. Y'all can fucking laugh at me if you think I'm stupid and fucking already see how these instructions tell me. But I'm telling you what, I'm getting the fuck agitated. They crisscross it. Right? So they start it like this. They do that. Boop. And then somehow they... Shut... Whoever's watching this, shut the fuck up. They should be laughing at me right now, because... You gotta crisscross the fucking legs, you know, to get them to fucking stand. Then, I just put this. What is this for, though? Like, is this, like, to lift it? I don't. I know whoever's watching this video laughing their ass off. Like, I'm so fucking stupid. Um. Okay, this ain't so bad once you, once you figure it out. Okay, so you gotta crisscross the legs. Those fucking instructions made no fucking sense to me. That's pretty sturdy. I'm still, what the fuck is the greasy shit, though? And I don't know what this is for. Somebody want to tell me what this is for? Somebody want to comment and tell me what the fuck that's for? It's it's not even on the picture. Like, the diagram? I don't... I'm, I'm confused. What the fuck is that for? Let's, let's look. Let's see if we see it in the picture. I do not fucking see it in the picture. At all. My cat's decided she's going to sniff and rub the phone at you. I don't even see that. It doesn't even show that as a part on here. So. Oh, I see him putting it away. Portable grill. Durable stainless steel. Blah, 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 blah. I don't. Okay, that's my unpacking video. I I might look back at this and decide I'm a fucking idiot, but I don't know what this is for. Like, is, is this to, like, get this off when it's hot? Like, because my ass ain't touching it until it's cooled the fuck off anyway, so. I, I'm at a loss for what this is. If somebody could tell me what the fuck this is, other than the common sense thing that's telling me it's to, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing maybe pull this up while it's hot. Like, that's the only thing I can picture, which, why the fuck would I take metal? I ain't fucking touching this thing when it's hot. So, if somebody's watching my own package video, and you're laughing your fucking ass off, that's cool. You can laugh at me. Please tell me what the fuck. This is for, okay? What the fuck? Because for right now, it's going side. Overall, though, this is pretty nice once I figured it out. Minus, I don't know what the greasy shit is, and it's bugging me. But, it's it's pretty sturdy, too. Um, 
it's it's a little heavy though for backpacking. I I really wish I could have done the mini. Um, I don't know how much smaller the mini is though, because this is. I'm probably gonna be grateful I got this size actually, because then I can like roast veggies and stuff too. It's nice. It's a grill and a fire pit. So, I mean, I mainly was looking for a portable fire pit, something compact, so I could be warm. But on a benefit, too, I can do cooking on it. My, my only complaint, and I knew this might be an issue, is if you look, there's, like, holes here. Um, I just have to be careful where I'm, I'm putting this because... Um, Everything's kind of lopsided on the camera. I'm sorry. Um, my only complaint, and, and if, if if you're not used to camping, if you're going to put this on the ground and use it, can you please be mindful? So you want to watch where you're putting this because if ash is coming out of the side and it's hot, you can, one, you can set something on fire. Two, you can damage the ground. Um, so don't go put it in a pretty grassy spot. So I just have to be careful of where I put this. Um, I might have to set something up. Most places I camp, though, have, like, concrete or a rock sp spot. I, I might have to make, an like, an ash basket for the bottom. But other than that, this is this is pretty nice. All I say is if somebody buys it, please be mindful of where you are setting it up. Because there is no ash bucket. Um, it, it's pretty solid on the bottom. But like I said, you, you do have these little spaces here. Overall, I think it's nice. Minus me getting a little agitated with it. I Could somebody explain to me why it's greasy, though? Like, my hand is greasy. I'm going to have to, like... Yes, I'm sniffing it. I'm gonna have to clean it off, like, or something. But overall, that was, once I figured my fucking self out, that wasn't too bad. Fold it up, uncrisscross this, right? Boot, fold it up. You can see my fingerprints on it from whatever's greasy. I, people, I don't, I don't wanna be greasy every time I go to use it. Again, somebody wants to tell me what the fuck that's for. The canvas bag, though, seriously, we're going to come back to this canvas bag. This is really nice. I didn't expect it to come with a decent bag. I was just like, whatever, I want a portable fire pit. Um, it was either this or I saw portable wood-burning stoves that were very similar construction, and the reviews were horrendous. Like, people said the things, like, just was not sturdy anything. So I went for this because this had a lot of positive reviews. People loved it. I could see why. Now, what would be nice is if it could go in the canvas bag. There we go. Yeah. This little fucking thing, I have no clue what it's doing. Okay, and then it's just a Velcro. But that's not bad. All that. That grill fits into this little thing right here. Um... Overall, I'm happy with it, minus whatever that greasy fucking residue is, and the fact that it doesn't have an, an ashtray bottom, so I'm going to have to be careful where I set it up based on that. But otherwise, I, I'd say this was worth the 35 bucks. Um, yeah, that is my grill. That's my little unboxing. I hope people enjoyed that. Hope you got a good laugh at me trying to figure out how to set it up, but I, I'd really recommend it. Definitely. Like. I mean I'm going to be able to keep warm. I, I still might see if the mini comes back in stock. Because. I don't know how much this weighs. But. It's it's a hefty chunk. You don't, you don't want to put. Like they try to advertise this as a backpacking. I don't know about you. But I'm not trying. I try to watch my weight when I'm backpacking. Um. I mean, more power to you if you want to carry it. Uh, I'm actually curious. You know what? I'm going to pause this video and restart. I'm going to let you guys know what it weighs because it doesn't say on the box and I really don't... Oh, wait. I fucking lied. I was about to go measure. 
yeah, this is a little heavy for backpacking, if you ask me. It, it, it's three pounds, three ounce, three, yeah, three pounds, three ounces. I'm, um, for cooking, I don't, I don't, for me, priority is not cooking. I backpack and can eat cold food. Uh, I might get like a small propane backpacker stove at some point, but this, this is too much for to cook, in my personal opinion. But if you want to do three pounds extra in your backpack for backpacking, it does fold flat. It would go in your backpacking gear. Uh, I think three pounds just to cook and have fire is not worth it to me. But that's my priority. So yeah, definitely. I'm still going to say something about this canvas bag again. This, fucking, this is a nice canvas bag. So, yes, definitely. Yuko. So U-C-O... Flat pack, grill, and fire pit. Um, yeah, definitely. You definitely want this. This is nice. I like it. I also, a little other thing. Other than camping, other than backpacking. I live somewhere where I'm on, I have a second floor balcony. I'm not allowed to have, like, grills that aren't propane. Which, I personally am, I'm not grilling on propane. I want fire. Um, uh, so. What's nice is I could take this downstairs because we have a grilling area and I could grill outside like in our grilling area here without having to leave a grill out because I we are technically allowed to leave our grills down on the first floor but I don't, I don't trust nobody to touch my stuff. This is a nice way. You can take this to a park with your family if you want because they do have larger sizes if you're not looking for something for backpacking. And just want something so you could take a girl somewhere for the day trip with your family. You could get a larger size. I, I don't know. I'm really I'm loving this thing. This was a good buy. Overall good buy. That's my opinion on it. So that was my first time doing an unpacking video. Yeah. I don't usually do unpacking videos. But I was so fucking stoked about this. So that's my unpacking video. I hope you guys enjoy. And happy camping, hiking, and backpacking.